Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel XN Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'm gonna talk about undealing as a calculation. So I already had one video, but that is only for the how to measure the distance in between migrated cells by using the image J. But here I would like to talk about the inter calculation and also the statistical analysis. So I, I have uh, some couple of pictures, but I picked these two pictures. One is zero hours and another one is 48 hours. So instead of 48 hours, if you want like to do 24 or 72 hours, you can do also like the same cal calculation. So here is a D0, it indicating that uh, the mean distance of wound at zero hour and D48, it indicating mean distance of wound at 48 hours. So first we have to open the image software, then you have to open your desired image file. So I'd like to do first zero hours. So let's consider this one. All right. So here what I have to do, first you have to click this one, then you'll get this kind of measuring tool so three different location you have to measure the distance so here and then analyze and measure so we'll get this value 1068 and another one is let's assume here so here is the the measurement analyze and measure so second one and another one let's consider this one all right so now you will get the another value all right so three different value i already got so let's calculate the mean value so 1068 plus 111 plus 1147 so divide by 3 so 1108 so this value is I got 1108 let me write it here 1108 Right. So this is the D0 or it means that uh, 1108 that is the mean distance of the wound at 0 hour. Let's start at 48 hours. All right. So then I have to open the image file of the 48 hours. So I have some pictures. So here is the 48 hours. Let's assume there are some pictures this one you can consider all right so here as you see in these pictures that this is cells are migrated so it means that after 48 hours so let's measure this distance here analyze measure so here 728 another measurement here Seven thirty six and then measurement here seven eight eight. So let me calculate the mean value seven twenty eight plus seven thirty six plus seven eighty eight divided by three. So it means 750. So here is the 750 is the mean value of the wound at 48 hours. So then you have to you have to calculate the percentage of the wound. So that part that uh, formula is first you have to that d0 so 1 1 08 minus 750 
divide into 100 to 100 divided by d0 so 1108 so this is the formula so here let me calculate it so 1108 minus 750 to 100 divided by 1108 so it's 32 percent so 32 percent migration all right so the formula is the formula is d0 minus d48 if you do like 24 then 24 or 72 into 100 divided by d0 so this is the formula all right so by this way you have to consider three different pictures and then you have to calculate three different percentage so we'll get d0 value and d48 value in different different three different pictures all right so then what you do for the statistical analysis you have to open the this file and then new new project file so here grouped so enter 3 replicate create then okay let's uh, assume that uh, one is control and another one is x another one is y just two so let me consider the, let me consider that this two is the like anti cancer drug all right so in the control so one i got that value is the 32 all right so let me write it here 32 so one value is 32 another value is let me just uh, randomly can just put some values just for example like 30 and another one is 35 all right and for the anti-cancer drug so you can consider this x and y are the anti-cancer drug all right so here i can put some random value 25 remember that these are all our percentage and one is 27 one is 22 and another one is 19 15 26 so then you can see here so this is the so it means like control x and y but here is the percentage of the wound percentage of wound healing so as you see here uh, in the control there is no drug so that's what uh, there is a um, migration is higher so wound healing is higher percentage but in case of the anti-cancer drug this um, the wound is much much lower so how to calculate it so analyze and then column analysis t test and then here just one by one first you have to compare control and another group so then okay and then this is the unpaired t test because this is the a different kind of individual group this is what uh, i would like to select the unpaired and then okay then you will get this analysis report and you see here this is there is one star one star and this is the p value is once and the p value is 0 0.02 so it means that it's significant because it's less than 0 0.05 so it's it's significant and uh, so it's significantly different is yes and you can uh, you can consider this one and this one all right so then another one another one is the remaining another one so this one y control and y let me choose this here t test yes unpaired t test yes i can you can see here this is also significant one star so here this is the uh, x versus control group this is also significant but this is 0 0.02 p value and this is also 0 0.02 so so it means that both are significant if you compare with this both are significant 
like a measure which is which is which is higher um, compared compared to this two drug which is more efficacious then you can consider that p value which is which is uh, the lower p value that means that that is the higher efficacy rate right so by this way you can calculate the wound healing assay so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and if you have any queries kindly write in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks